Patko István vagyok az Obi. My name is István Patko, Dean of Faculty of Light Industry and Environmental Engineering at Obi University. With this film, we'd like to help young people with their career choice, one of the most important decisions in life. Let's have a look at what I'm talking about. On the Buddha side of Hungary's capital lies the imposing building that has been home to the Reitő Sándor Faculty of Light Industry Engineering for the last 30 years, an institute which has become Obuda University this year. In the foreground, students are on their way to lectures, whereas the green Kiscelli woods behind the building provides relaxing areas for leisure and study. The university offers three majors, Light Industry Engineering, Environmental Engineering and Industrial Design Engineering. Let us take a closer look at these departments and their characteristics, starting with the largest, light industry. The Institute of Media Technology and Light Industry basically hosts two specialties within light industry engineering. One of them is packaging and paper manufacturing, the other is printing and media. We can state that both sectors are prospering. The students can obtain their degrees in seven semesters, which enables them to participate in the job market, bringing extended practical skills and strong lab background with them. Training includes working with modern high-tech techniques to more traditional methods in production technology. Starting in the fifth semester, students can opt for an available specialty to deepen their expertise. Among others, we teach paper dipping, book binding, plating of paper surfaces, and cover design. All these are among our activities and tasks. Print media majors are familiar with both traditional press techniques as well as digital printing technologies, and they know the most important machines. They are able to find employment anywhere within the sector. Besides mass production design, students get the chance to explore individual creativity. With the help of engineering skills acquired at the university, students can produce and market their own ideas. There are numerous everyday objects in our environment, which we could never do without. Someone, somewhere, has to produce these objects. They have to be marketed through certain economic processes. Our students will become engineers when they graduate, who will be capable of doing both. By graduation from this department, they will be perfectly apt not only to understand the mechanical processes of production, but to present innovative human embracing challenges. Kristina Egyed, with her six-month toddler on her arms, gets nostalgic about her student years. She graduated 13 years ago and following a seven-year professional speed skater career. I've always been the one to make our Christmas wrapping, so some affinity has always been there. I always wanted to know why a certain packaging material is chosen over others in the store. To this day, I'm working at a company that makes crates and such, and well, I'm in sales there. One of the highest ranked majors is quality engineering and system development. Graduates in this area acquire a broader spectrum of skills which they can utilize in any industrial sector, multinational companies, automotive or electrical industry, as well as their services sector. Training includes process engineering, risk and issue management techniques, efficiency methodologies and their practical use. The major creative technologies and productions teaches textile, dress and leather design technologies as well as related machinery, raw material examination and methodology. Secondly, let's look at industrial engineering. 
Although other institutes host departments with similar names, ours is based on an earlier faculty called Product Design. All aspects of the previous department could be transformed into this one. There are two major paths, Product Design and Product Management. Both incorporate traditional methods including textiles, clothes and leather design. We combine the technologies so the modules stay intact. Students can later specialize in accessories, dresses, textile and interior design as well as packaging modules. Textil és interior, valamint csomagolás modulokra tovább szakosodhatnak a hallgatók. Dr. Marta Kisfaludi's office has a wall covered with her own dress designs. She thinks expressing individual taste is one of the most important values. They are very good at combining engineering skills with creative form design. These beautiful, elegant clothes were created and produced by Kingo Momhori, who graduated from the university five years ago. I'm a fashion designer with my own salon where I design and produce clothing. I can very much use my technological background for this type of work. Unlike other academic institutes, this one provides a high quality of clothes related industrial and technological training, which I can use on a daily basis for dress design and production. In the modules taught by Product Design Institute, older solutions intertwine with the latest technologies. While one lesson would show the mechanics and usage of traditional looms, the other teaches three-dimensional dress design. The university sponsors the latest scientific research, which students are encouraged to participate in. Mastering foreign languages is one of the basic concepts, as the department has numerous partners across Europe offering opportunities for foreign exchange semesters. By spending a year or two abroad in a foreign language environment, the students can deepen their professional knowledge, which, along with mastering the language, enables them to find the most suitable jobs. On this lovely forest path, we can find the students of environmental engineering during field study. Apart from the technical university, we train the highest number of environmental engineers among the 11 institutes in the country. We'd like to achieve a standard of high practical skill set that prepares students for everyday challenges, not only theoretical professionals. Graduates of the faculty participate in a broad spectrum of lectures and specialties. They gain a thorough understanding of landscape analysis and assessment, the biological foundations of environmentalism, and an understanding of the applicability of modern biotechnological methods. The amount of practical lessons is outstanding. When not occupied with assessment of various environmental hazards, students broaden their understanding of renewable energy resources in the air. We aim to demonstrate that a theoretical training would be insufficient in this field. We're currently on the highest level of our energetic lab. You can see the wind wheel, a meteorological station, and as you can see here, sun collectors. They are connected to the laboratory's lower stories and feed the computers with data which we process. Apart from understanding the curriculum, students need to embrace the environmental approach, environment conscious behavior and thinking. We aim to train environmentally conscious engineers in all areas of education within the institute so that graduates can take this frame of mind and spread it as much as possible. This approach is typical for the complete set of departments. The lectures on production, product development include lessons on renewable energy and raw resources, as well as ecological and economical aspects of industrial production.
Our short film has provided an insight into the life of this European academic institute committed to research of new technologies and training engineers for an ever-growing sector of industry. We hope future students have taken a liking to a career as engineers. Thank you.